Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to install the Vengeance HS1 driver while using the Vengeance 1500. As you can see here in my device manager, I am currently using a new 1500 myself. Uh, for the curious, these are the edits I did to the actual HS1 uh, driver files to achieve this. Um, I first edited in a, at the bottom there where it says background hide equals one. That uh, prevents the actual install, uh, sorry, the installation program from checking whether or not you have an actual HS1 connected. Uh, secondly, I edited each the Vista XP and Windows 7 actual driver INI files with the Vengeance 1500 USB IDs. You can see with the lines there. Um, here I'm just going to run the setup to show that it actually works. Um, as you can see, it is not going to prompt me to connect the HS1. Bam. Um, now I'm going to put up a link on the forums and hopefully said thread stays there for a little while um, where you can download the modded INI file or I'm sorry driver whole folder package um, or you can pause the video to the previous points and edit them yourself I would you want to keep in mind that you need to edit those USB device IDs into the proper operating system that you're currently running. So XP, Vista, or Windows 7. You do not need to do it for all three. And the main reason people want to swap these drivers is uh, easy switching between Dolby 7.1 and stereo without having to constantly go into your volume options and select uh, input channels, which is just infuriating. Um, shortly you will see me open up the actual driver panel and everything is functional that I've tested so far. Um, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. You want to make sure that you still remember to uh, when you're messing with the EQ to put down the AK slider about halfway because the 1500 still inherently has that uh, treble sound washing defect so you want to still drop the AK slider. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching guys, hope this helps, hope this stays on the forums.